Marcelo, we're going to talk about um, planning as a musical ensemble, um, in particular, kind of like how you guys formed your ensemble, what kind of ensemble you were, um, how you chose the songs that you were going to play, how you chose the repertoire um, that worked really well at the gigs that you guys played, and then kind of like how you chose roles um, and who, what kind of roles happened during the processes, um, including kind of on stage too. If you'd just like to t talk us through that a little bit. Um. Uh, when we first started um, planning ensembles, uh, a lot of us didn't really, um, weren't really, um, aside from Barney or maybe Chloe, um, a lot of us didn't really have that much experience when it came to forming instruments or even um, uh, being in bands. Um, but when it came around to choosing the song, I think it was the uh, added pressure that we will be having to do our first gig for many of us. So we just sort of like had to think on, on our toes, really. And uh, and and uh, we chose to go for possibly the the easiest ensemble to do, which was the standard um, four piece rock band. But obviously, there being six of us in the course um, that are doing performance, um, it changed. Um, some of some of the songs had only me and John. Uh, other songs. So had, that was like a duo on YouTube, yeah. Played, yeah. Um, other songs had um, everyone, including everyone excluding someone who's doing their own thing. Um, so, for example, uh, Charles's "Why Should I Worry" um, had. Had uh, Barney? Yeah, I think so. Barney, John, uh, uh, Chloe, Chloe, and John, John. Yeah. Uh, so there were more people on that. What, 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 what? How would you describe their roles then? What, what kind of roles were they, John and Chloe and um, Barney doing? John, Chloe, and Barney were sort of a more rhythm. Uh, section because they were the ones to keep the song structured and in time and making sure that it wasn't off key or something like that whereas um, myself Joss and Sam um, were more of a leading section as we were the ones sort of uh, singing and um, and we also played the role of uh, front persons because we talked to the audience as well we interacted with them and sort of uh, did things like ask them if they're having a good night before we started yeah. singing or after we got yeah. done singing. Or so it's like in audience interaction. How did you guys kind of choose your repertoire? How did you choose the songs that you did and come to those decisions and make sure that everything worked well? Um, uh, Kim and Kim already had a sort of playlist of songs. Um, we were a lot, like of songs that he wanted us to play and we sort of chose uh, along that and in a sense he was pretty much the musical director because he sort of chose what we played and where we played and all that and um, we used Spotify really to choose our music uh, especially me because I chose to do a cover of a song I liked um, in the Chapel Arts gig so I I went to I myself went to research what songs I could do that would be within my skill. And how did you sort of find out chords for the songs or lyrics? Um, it's simple as just googling it. Um, so you'd Google it and maybe you got any sites that you'd maybe go to? Uh, I use uh, Ultimate Tabs a lot okay. because it has um, guitar tabs for a lot a lot of songs actually, and a lot of the bands I listen to have most of their albums there so I go there and learn the chords and sort of uh, learn the style of music that's there and possibly in future gigs I'll use what what I took and just sort of make my own cool excellent just just kind of finally what what what's the sort of difference between maybe a rock band and a jazz ensemble what do what just to just um, to Explain a little bit about how you see those different ensembles operating differently. Well, a uh, jazz ensemble more often than not has a brass section, which is pretty much the biggest difference between that and a rock ensemble. 
Uh, also, jazz is quite a sophisticated genre of music, and you'd see it mold mostly in like bars or uh, really ex expensive dinner parties, that kind of stuff as background music, whereas rock is a sort of something you listen to. It's not something you put on the background, it's something you kind of feel because um, the emotion is very intense. A lot of rock music is very, like, uh, either loud or very happy or very fast-paced as well. Uh, whereas jazz is more smoothing, it's more for just relaxing and... What about in terms of chords or scales? Um, in terms of scales, uh, jazz usually has more uh, complicated structures to it, so have different chords in different scales, and uh, usually will use variations of the same motifs throughout the song and sometimes you'll hear solos from different instruments um, in the band whereas with a rock band you you probably get only a 30 second solo from the lead guitarist before it goes back to the song 